Now we are going to look into organic research tool, which is a competitor based keyword research tool. I have explained this definition in my free SEO keyword research course links in the description. You can check it out. And now we are going to like a look into the organic research tool of SMrush. Basically, you can access this tool not from keyword research menu. You can access the tool under competitive research organic research. So by giving the tool under competitive research itself, I would give away of saying that this is a competitor based uh, tool, which is a really, really great tool because in a traditional keyword research tool, we are creating the wheel again because we are coming up with seed keywords. We are going through the huge database of keyword research and finding out and filtering those keywords. What happens in competitor based organic research or competitor based keyword research is like we are finding our competitor. We are already seeing know what are our competitors, who are our competitors or if not, if we are just entering your target main keyword in search engines, we'll show you all the competitors for you. If it's a local businesses entering the business keyword in Google map pack, we'll show all the relevant competitors for you. Once you know them, you just need to have their website URL and you can find all their keywords and we can find really good keyword opportunities from them to copy paste into our SEO keyword uh, keyword research process. For example, here it says that uh, basically do you want to reach top of your search? Start with learning what works best for your competitors. Gives a simple explanation. Here you can enter a domain, subdomain or a URL. For example, as we are in weight loss niche right now explaining, I am going to copy this particular uh, example URL because they have so many weight loss uh, tips here. For example, all the different ones. So I might get health award or try first. Let me try with this URL and see what kind of data I am getting. I'm going to click on search and you can obviously see it is automatically showing me all the different keyword. This particular web page is ranking for weight loss. I can also go one step beyond and include just a domain. For example, it shows me 9800 keyword. But when I enter a domain here and click on search, you can see obviously 2.9 million keywords for this particular domain. So you can see how many keywords I'm getting it. So in this example, uh, I might keep this as it is so I can explain the filters much better. Then I can go and see what are the data it's showing for me. Let me close this one. And currently I can select the database of which I want. I'm going to stay in United States, but you can choose your one as you need. Click on the devices here. Then you can see the date as of right now and currency and we get several uh, pages here where some of this data which we are seeing when you click it will take you to a different tabs here. So it is hyperlinked within the table results itself. So the initial data we are seeing is an overview data for this particular competitor keyword ranking. They are saying that it has around 3 million keywords ranking on Google and they are rising from 2.99 percentage so they are increasing a lot so because in December it was 2.8 in January it's 2.9 so they are on a rising uh, slope traffic they are saying based on this keywords and based on their current ranking they are receiving around 6.5 million visitors uh, for this keywords and it is also on in a rise traffic cost how much uh, money they are likely to make by just based on the number of keyword and traffic and CPC value. This is the value for that. It's around 5.5 million branded traffic out of all the traffic here. How many are coming directly as a branded traffic? For example, if it's a Harvard edu, maybe someone might type Harvard University or Harvard health topic, Harvard weight loss or something like that. It comes under branded traffic and non-branded traffic is how much it is 6.5 million. So depending on that, it will show all the data. Here it will show me the organic keyword trend. For example, if I hover over the first data, which we are seeing is it is from September 2012, virtually they have around just 26,000 ranking. But if I am seeing this data right now, you can see how many keywords they are ranking. 
and you can see the overall trend data on how they are ranking we can also filter it by all time two year one year six months one month and also we can see various different uh, data sets here to see it and also if you hover over any of the uh, bar chart you can also see how many top three position they are having how many top four to ten position keyword they are having all the different uh, steps are shown here and if you notice some google uh, icons here and some com couple of uh, notations if you click on that notation it shows some event which happened related to seo or search quality update with google on that particular data so it shows any nodes here and if i click on any google icon it said that it has detected a usual unusual activity on google SERP. so we know something is happening with google search quality updates and everything so we can see the notation here we can also create our own notes here so if we can compare it on a later date all those things are possible everything will be shown under here for example we can also hide that thing for example i can hide something since uh, my notes i just want to see only my notes if i have any notes i can see that i can also see google updates unconfirmed google updates organic related sensor related updates smrush related updates all the things i can see all the data here for example they have added more keywords to their database all the information is presented in this section itself so this is very good to get a high level overview of our competitor now we are getting summary uh, section and when we click any of these links either it will take to one of these tabs or either it will go into directly into a tool something like keyword magic and everything so that is what all the different sections here we are seeing top keywords for the competitor based on all position organic and SERP features or whichever the keyword they are ranking on a SERP feature for example here they are ranking on a people also ask section and how much traffic they are receiving total number of search volume and a link to view all 2.9 million keywords and keyword by intent how the keyword uh, is getting differentiated for example out of those ranking 2.9 million keyword they are ranking for almost 75 percentages of keyword is a informational intent based keyword so we can get an idea on how what kind of content our competitor is uh, creating and how they are what kind of matching user intent they have so that information we can see it here clicking on here we can see the full report on intent then we have top position changes in organic so related to competitor whichever the keywords they are getting brand new for example food to eat is currently around uh, getting around 18,000 searches they are ranking fifth position this is a new keyword for them lost is showing me all the keyword they have lost their current position from a good amount of ranking improved keyword shows what are the keywords the mainly they have improved and declined shows whatever the keyword they have declined a bit so we can get an idea from that for example if it's a competitor for you new keyword if you see any good new keyword for your competitor you can also virtually hop into that opportunity and try to create content for that keyword and obviously try to outrank your competitor similarly lost if a competitor is losing a keyword that means that is going to be your profitable one if it's a good keyword you create a keyword and try to get that uh, same thing improved means that competitors are doing some seo work for that keyword to increase their ranking or it is getting naturally increased that means your keyword if you are already ranking might be reduced so it is better to keep a lookout for what are improved and stuff like that decline same concept applies for declined also if you are seeing a keyword decline in competitor you can try to improve your own web page or keyword then we have top position change in serps features we are seeing change positions in organic any serp features which is they are getting brand new or lost is will be shown here for example they are the knowledge panel features but they have lost it right now so we are seeing all the data here we can click here to view all the serp feature data also here then we have serp feature trend here we have seen organic trends here this is for just for SERP and it's so showing me all the different SERP features which they have with them. You can see the data for one month, six month, one year, 
टू इयर ऑल टाइम ऑल द डेटा वी कैन सी इट यू कैन सी जस्ट अवरिंग इट ओवर शोज हाउ मेनी टॉप स्टोरीज नॉलेज पैनल ऑल द डिफरेंट स्टाफ दे हैव and we can also view all the keyword here and below we have some other interesting uh, re data related to surf feature that is what makes smrush unique not only they have the database of all this information but they present it in a useful interface to get the all the data we need for example featured snippet they are ranking for more than 18000 featured snippets site link for image they are ranking for over 400000 plus images video carousel is just 9 people also ask around 140000 keywords so we get an idea on which is the most popular serp uh, snippet for our competitor and when we click on any of this it will obviously open up a new database uh, for that for example under position applied filters automatically and it will show all the featured snippet uh, which they are ranking you can see for example if i click on this particular icon we already know what this icon is we will see they will having a featured snippet here so that is what this particular section shows me here and here not linking to this domain out of all they are ranking keyword how much more potential is available so around 2 million keywords are available which these uh avad health is ranking but does not have a featured image but others are having a featured uh, snippet so you can target those as well depending on that you can see uh, opportunities for every single option here for example i might if i am creating a images i might try to go for this image pack keywords and rank my image into these things i will create a separate tutorial video on how you can rank images really well videos apply the same principle for videos maybe people also ask under questions or local uh, businesses under local pack all these differences are shown here and top pages are showing like which are the top pages uh, this particular award are receiving most number of keywords like they this particular food that fight information is getting around 5000 plus keyword ranking top sub domain report is shown here main organic competitor we are entering this uh, domain as a competitor for us based on the current ranking uh, keywords it will then let us know all the other competitors for this particular person so we can obviously try to check these also and maybe steal some of the keyword ideas from here as well and competitive positioning map also shown here then when we go into positions now we will be seeing the same data in a full in depth uh, tab tabulated uh, format for example here are that 2.9 million keywords and we can see all the keywords here obviously no way we can go through all the pages one by one because it is 28000 that is the reason we have this filter row here because we can filter it out all the different filter is available to create a manageable filter row for us for example i might enter something like weight and press search now it will filter it considerably if i am correct for example we started with 2.9 million now we have around 58000 keywords and all are mentioning weight and i can also mention a position if i want or or i can mention a volume minimum volume for the keyword oh in this case i might do something like under 50 keyword difficulty that is the only uh, maybe i might add a number of word count also depending on your need you can apply the uh, filters all the filters i have explained in keyword magic and keyword overview all these are same filters again and serp feature also same like all the keyword which is ranking under this have a featured snippet not on serp sub domain rank sub domain doesn't rank all the features are available here here i might do something like include keyword or i want to have word count uh, greater than four so i don't want to see any small keywords i want to see keywords which have more than four number of words so i might let's see how many keywords left out with i have around 9000 keywords maybe i can even filter it out even further i might add another condition which is suits me uh, keyword results competition traffic all these things are available yes cpc cost number of results and everything i might add a volume filter like i don't want to see 
very low amount uh, searched keywords let's see what is the we started with 2.9 million keywords now we have left with 2300 keyword this is something more manageable and you can see we find a lot of keyword opportunities which we might not think of it in an initial state what i like to do is once i got this data i will sort this either by keyword difficulty one it will sort with the highest one i need to re-click it again and re-clicking it here now it will show all the keywords from the lowest competition matching our filter so for example uh, how much does a key weight that is unrelevant uh, maybe how much weight has bill uh, self lost someone person i think uh, maybe i'll see something else uh, mm, cycling one hour a day weight loss you can see it has around 210 searches it is having only 11 search competition maybe a good keyword for me to create a content around it uh, we can see all the other stuffs as well does coke make you lose weight 200 search 14 keyword difficulty so you get an idea we find a lot of keyword low competition keyword opportunities by doing this that's why this is also one of my favorite to get that so all position organic only SERP features we can also filter it out like that when we click on position change it will give the in-depth data for the position change data we saw in depth for example all changes we want to see only improved we want to see only decline changes on SERP same thing applies here like if you click on something like improved only it will show only the improved data set we can also even filter that with the same filters we have and see only those data here so same thing applies here as well there is nothing different exact same principle it's giving me in much more depth competitors again the brief competitor report we had this is the more in-depth competitors report so it's giving me these are the competitors who are big in SERP we can analyze them they are showing me what is the common keyword between my this particular competitor and that competitor we can analyze this competitor if we want all the data related to that competitor such as common keyword search ranking keyword total number of traffic cost paid keywords are shown here you can see all the data here you can get just scroll down and see all the data pages it will show all the top organic ranking pages under this competitor website so it will show which is the most popular pages with a lot of traffic so i might enter something like weight and search and we can filter this 11400 uh, pages to just 218 pages and you can see this particular web page has around 27000 traffic and adds around ranks to around over 10000 keywords and depending on the intent it will show all the data is shown here with the link to show backlinks that is i will explain when i'm explaining link building i will show it and all the data that she's saying here and with this also i can get a lot of ideas for me subdomain if that website has a subdomain ranking different options i can see those data here as well which our does have a lot of subdomains so you can check these as well so that is what organic research does